This is Matthew Diaz reporting with the Liberty Champion, and this weekend our story involves Liberty Women's Tennis playing up against Eastern Carolina University and Longwood University in a doubleheader. However, they experienced some really interesting circumstances that they had to overcome. The Liberty Women's Tennis team was playing their first home game of the spring when they found themselves down a few points in matches against Eastern Carolina University. During their struggle to keep up, the brand new Liberty Tennis facility lost power from the electrical grid. I interviewed Daniela O'Neill, a freshman from Puerto Rico, to tell us more. It was a pretty interesting day. Um, obviously, we had the power outage and we had to wait like about 30 minutes to find out if we're actually going to keep playing inside. But we switched to playing outside, which we didn't practice at all during the whole week. But I mean, we managed to play good outside and inside. And we got the two dubs and we're really happy. I'm really happy about what my teammates did today. So yeah, let's go Flames. <laughs> Now, despite not training outside due to some cold weather in recent days, the team was up for the challenge after hearing it might take a few hours for the power to come back. They endured some light winds and temperatures of 50 degrees. In doing so, they managed to beat Eastern Carolina University, and when the power came back on, they returned back inside to Liberty Tennis Arena to play the afternoon matches against Longwood University would seem like that diversity at the time ended up being a blessing in disguise for the Lady Flames. Now the Liberty Women's Tennis team, besides facing this adversity, managed to crush Longwood and Eastern Carolina University with two wins against these massive D1 teams. This has been Matthew Diaz reporting for the Liberty Champion.